I want to show you the storm on the satellite imagery. You can see how it's starting to get more of a classic hurricane look to it. This is the visible satellite or how it looks from space. There's no well-defined eye yet, but I suspect tonight or tomorrow morning we may start to see that pop out, uh, especially once it gets past Cuba. We will get a new update in from the Hurricane Center in about 45 minutes, but uh, as of 2 o'clock, winds were at 85 miles per hour, and the track update will come in at 5 o'clock as well. This track was as of 11 o'clock this morning, but uh, the main idea today is the same, and that is that the storm is expected to strengthen, especially once it gets past the western tip of Cuba. And it will be moving very slowly as it does. This is Wednesday night, uh, or I should say this is Wednesday morning. This is Wednesday night. This is Thursday morning. And then this is Friday morning. It is just going to be crawling up the coastline. And even though the, the forecast here is for a, a weakening trend, the problem is where the storm is in relation to Tampa. The winds will be funneling right up into Tampa Bay. So there is a significant concern for storm surge flooding flooding from heavy rain because the storm is moving slowly and of course the wind too. If the storm is closer to Tampa, the center of it, then wind would be a real, real problem. If it goes a little bit farther west, then rain and flooding would be more the issue. So the Tampa area is where the concern is highest and this is the location of it Saturday morning. So at that point, it is still far from New England. Reason for that, big area of high pressure will be building south over the northern part of the country. And this will basically act as a block and hold it south for several days. So if we were to get anything from this, it wouldn't be until Saturday night or Sunday. And even that is not a guarantee. There are some models that keep most of this rain to the south of us all the way through next week. So while it's bad for the south, it's good for us and that our weather will be pretty nice around here for a while. Right now, looking out over Farmington, we do have some big clouds forming, and there actually are a few scattered showers that have developed in western, New, uh, western Connecticut and eastern New York. We'll zoom you into Litchfield County. We have some downpours coming through uh, the Cornwall area, Kent, and Warren. These are heading northeast, so heading toward Heartland and make it up toward Granby in about an hour or so. Very pleasant out there, though. Temperatures right now in the 60s to low 70s. And overnight, other than an isolated shower, uh, we'll have some clouds moving in with lows in the 50s. A great day ahead tomorrow. Clouds in the morning giving way to afternoon sunshine and very similar temperatures tomorrow with highs that will be in the lower 70s. Pleasant for Wednesday with temperatures right around 70 and then a bit cooler for the middle and end of the week. Mid 60s Thursday and Friday. Right now I think the weekend will just have some clouds as Ian is to our south. Not sure how much if any rain we will get though. That's something we'll follow through the week. Back to you guys.